But Brad Pitt was on the Jim Jeffrey show. Brad so, Pitt. you know, he doesn't do social media, but he does He's the not, Jim Jeffrey the show. the nicest man in Hollywood. The nicest man in Hollywood. How'd that happen? Real quick, and then and then you can go after how how about did he just call up or well funnily enough there was a there was a movie that he did called War Machine and then I would he said they said oh can someone interview him for an extra feature that was my first interview that's why I said I was bad at it my first ever interview of anybody in any facet was was Brad Pitt and they and he requested me and he I think he just watched like one of my specials the night before or something like that. And I went down, and it was the worst interview that anyone's ever given. It was like it never aired, and people said at the time, "This is the problem with, with entertainment." People blowing smoke up my ass. Like, that was great. That was great. And I was asking stupid questions like, "How much is like a gallon of milk?" <laughs> <laughs> right. So what was? Because I thought that was interesting. Like, does Brad Pitt know what a gallon of milk? And then he just looked at me, and I was starstruck. And I'm only that's the only time I've ever gotten really starstruck. Where I was like, "Fucking hell, this guy's the most." fucking popular person on the planet and i was just sort of fumbling around and then i thought oh that went to shit i got a, a photo with him and fucking went home a bit depressed i did you know <laughs> and and uh and so so then he rings up and he goes hey i'd like to help out with your show and I, and then wait he rings up like you yeah and he goes i'd like to help you out with your show and i said oh, okay so I, I speak to my management i said brad pitt wants to be they, they've got i've got the same manager the same company okay right and so so they go they go, ah, oh, why don't you ask him about like foster kids or adoption or something like that, or you know, with kids because you know he knows about that, or or he builds houses in New Orleans for hurricane things. And I was like, yeah, but what's the point of that? And everyone already knows these things. The thing about Brad Pitt is it's not hard to get footage of him. Yeah, he's the biggest movie star in the world. Mm -hmm. You want to get footage of him doing something a bit different, right? Yeah. So I said, how about like if he's like. I don't know, like a sports guy or a weatherman on my show or something like that, right? And they go, don't you ask him to do that. We don't want him looking like a fool or something like that, right? <laughs> so this is your management yeah, my team. Manager, <laughs> manager. I, was, I, was like, I was like, okay, okay. And so I ring up Brad and I'm like, hey, man, um, uh, yeah, we could talk about like the houses you build in New Orleans. And he's like, no, 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 I don't want to. No. Uh, <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, and I go, what about like adoption? No, not nothing about kids, man. Um, I go, you, you could, uh, could be my, could be my weatherman. I went like that. <laughs> and he went, weatherman, ha, huh, I love it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so Brand comes to work and it's like, normally the rehearsal, the rehearsal in the morning we have. You know, we had six writers, seven writers or something, and only about five of them would fucking show up. Yeah. And, then, and then we'd have a production person, a director, and then the catering person at the back, and then there'd be a cameraman and all that sort of stuff. But sitting in the actual stands, maybe about 10 people, right? And uh, the day that Brad did it, uh, I think every man on that set's wife <laughs> showed up. <laughs> People who had nothing to do with anything. And the women who, who were just like normally just like, oh, I'm a script coordinator and don't give a fuck or I run the, I run accounts. <laughs> All of a sudden they were desperate to see my rehearsal that day. <laughs> <laughs> and and they, they woof whistled and fucking behaved terribly. <laughs> behaved terribly. Where I, was like, where I was like, could you imagine if like Gal Gadot showed up to work and then every female's husband <laughs> rocked up like you got to give it to men like we roll with the punches a little yeah. better sometimes right <laughs> if, if every man's if every woman's husband showed up and just went yeah <laughs> as soon as she walked out <laughs> we'd have a real problem oh yeah big problem big problem oh big big problem <laughs> <laughs> and i was like all right, girls, control yourself. And then, like, when we got back, they were still like, did you see his body? Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> wait till we leave the room. They're you know? worse than men sometimes. Yeah, men, at least we wait till they leave the room yeah. before we, you know. <laughs> He's still, Brad standing next to him, like, did you see his body? <laughs> like, ugh. But, but I, I can't imagine what it's like to be Brad. I imagine that it's a, it's a tricky thing.